Hey, well, welcome back to Cooking with Mike. My name is Mike, and I do live in an RV full-time. As you can see over here, I am remodeling my RV and putting down new flooring, and I'll show a video on that later. But right now, let me introduce you to my humble little kitchen. It's very small, but, you know, they have the uh, plenty of counter room. Over here, I have some necessities, beer, yes. Uh, and my water, my fresh water, and of course my fridge. Right now I'm actually plugged in the shore power, but usually I boondock. Um, I have been assimilated. Yes, unfortunately they did close down Lake Mead. Um, and so I am at Thousand Trails um, because I've been forced back into the city. But, you know, I do enjoy power occasionally. My microwave is up here. I don't normally have the opportunity to use it. And I still don't use it. Actually, I haven't used it in a week, even though I've been plugged in. Um, but it's there in case I do want it. Um, down here is my stove. Everything runs on gas and propane in my um, RV. Today, what I'm going to cook is some breakfast. And I have some bacon, thick cut bacon here. And I have my onion. And I have my sweet potato and my yam. And as you can tell, I have two different types of sweet potatoes. And I'm going to fry them up. Uh, bacon, onion, and sweet potato, and probably add an egg on top. And you might be wondering why I'm choosing sweet potatoes over regular potatoes. It was actually quite by accident, but it is amazingly scrumptious. Um, they were out of potatoes. You could not find a potato in all of Nevada during the coronavirus. People went potato and rice happy, and they bought everything out. And all there was left were sweet potatoes. So I said, I love sweet potatoes. So I got some sweet potatoes and I'm using them just like regular potatoes. Uh, I do bake them, but I've never fried them with bacon and uh, onion and I love them. So anyways, it's like sweet potato hash browns in a way. Uh, and I'll be back shortly to let you know how I'm fixing this up. Well, I am back and what I've done is I've prepared my ingredients. I've uh, cut my bacon. Uh, I do want just little slices of bacon that I'm going to fry up and mix with the potatoes. I've cut my onions and I've left my onions fairly large because I want them to caramelize and I don't want them to disintegrate. Um, so I left them fairly large and then I had two different types of um, sweet potatoes. One is actually a yam I believe um, and I left them a little bit bigger and I did bake them beforehand. I did leave the skin on because the skin is scrumptious and really good. Um, so I left the skin on and I baked them. Um, they're not quite done, but they're pretty close to being done. I wouldn't eat these without cooking them again. But there is a beautiful um, yam. And then the sweet potatoes, I cut a little bit smaller because uh, they hold their shape a little bit better uh, when they're fried. And so this is what I'm going to put together. Um, and of course I have some for tomorrow and my bacon and over here I have of course I'm using cast iron cast iron is always the way to go and um, if you take care of it you season your pans it will last you a lifetime and there's nothing better to put a nice crust on your food and fried food and stuff if you uh, use cast iron correctly and one of the secrets to cast iron of course is that you always heat the pan uh, before you put food in it usually I have a little bit of oil in there but I don't have a lot right now, although it is seasoned, because I'm going to start with bacon and I'm going to let that generate its own oil. And so now that the pan is at least uh, hot, I'm going to just take the bacon and I'm going to start putting it in the pan. And I just want to wrap it around so that I don't want uh, any bacon to be sitting on top of each other because I do want it to cook ev evenly. So I'm just going to take the bacon, I'm going to put it around the pan so it cooks nicely. And because the onions are so big, I'm actually going to cook the front of this bacon on one side. And after I flip it, I'll go ahead and add the onions in uh, and caramelize those on top of the bacon. Um, and then after the onions are caramelized, I will add the sweet potatoes and uh, continue to fry them up. So we're just going to take the bacon, put it in the pan to make sure it's all, all one layer only. And it looks like I'm not going to quite have enough room. Oh, I should. Take that. One more piece of bacon here. 
And you notice I went around the outside first because the center, well, well, not really. Uh, cast iron is pretty evenly heated, uh, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but my theory was is that the inside would cook faster than the outside, but that's actually not true in a cast iron pan. The heat is evenly distributed, which is what makes it um, ideal for our cooking. Um, so, um, with that being done, I will be back after I flip the bacon so you can see how it's cooking. And um, I'll be back in a sec. All right, well, I am back. And the bacon is cooking nicely, as you can see. And uh, just look at that beautiful color. Let me focus that in. Oh my goodness, beautiful color. I'm gonna let that crisp right up. And you can see quite a bit of oil. I'll drain some of that out, but I don't wanna drain it out before I add the onions. And I'm gonna add the onions right on top. Um, and I have this heat down to about medium. Um, well, not quite medium, medium low. Because you don't wanna cook the bacon too quickly. Um, so I'm going to add the onions here. I'm going to let those onions caramelize and finish cooking that bacon. Um, and this is where I add my seasoning. So we have uh, beautiful onions, as you can see. Let me focus that in so you can see the beautiful onions. And they're going to start becoming translucent and caramelized. When you caramelize onions, they actually it brings out the sugar, as with any vegetable. And so you have the onion and you have the sugar. And I'm going to add some pepper. So I'm going to add some pepper. Now remember, the spices are also going to mix with the potatoes. So even though it looks like I'm adding quite a bit, I'm really not. So we're going to add some pepper there. And I like garlic salt. So we're going to add some garlic salt as well. So some garlic salt right in there, just like so. Um, and then you have that beautiful... Um, mixture going on. Now when I add the potatoes, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Right now I have the heat set on about four, but when I add the potatoes, I'm going to do something different. I don't want the grease to soak into the potatoes. So I'm going to turn this up pretty high, and when I add the potatoes, that's going to make the grease nice and hot, so it fries the potatoes without the potatoes soaking up the grease. Um, I know it looks unhealthy, and it is. I'm not going to lie. But it's, it is very good, and um, it's definitely good, and I think you'll enjoy it uh, if you were to try it, but I will certainly enjoy it. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, well, I am back, and as you can see, the onions have nice, is, have started turning brown and stuff, and there is a lot of oil in there. I grew up on a farm, and so my mom used to use cast iron all the time, and bacon grease and all that kind of stuff, and I haven't died yet. So uh, I save my bacon grease a little bit, and when I don't have, when I'm not cooking the bacon, I still use the bacon grease occasionally. So I'm going to take some of this bacon grease, and I'm just going to pour it off into um, into the uh, thing where I can use a little bit of it later if I wish. I don't want to pour it all off, but I do want to pour some of it off. And then after I have what I think is the right amount in there, and there's no several amount, I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes. Um, I'm just going to come in and add my potatoes right on top. Now I've turned this pan up to 7 because I wanted the grease hotter so it doesn't soak into the potatoes. And once I add them in there, I'm going to take the potatoes and I'm going to stir them to coat them. You can see, look at that bacon. It's just gorgeous. Uh, and the onions and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. And you don't want to put a lid on this uh, at all. Um, if you put the lid on, um, you're going to uh, make the potatoes mushy. And you don't want mushy potatoes. You want nice, crisp potatoes. Um, so anyway, you just kind of Get that all set up, like so, and it's, it's beautiful. You can see it's colorful, and with an egg on top, which I might do or I might not. Uh, sometimes I just like to eat the potatoes. We are going to add a little bit more seasoning to potatoes. I like peppery potatoes. 
There we go. A touch more garlic salt or regular salt if you don't prefer garlic salt. And you're just going to let those sit. Now, you don't want to, let me just zoom in here. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Now, you don't want to turn the potatoes uh, or stir them. You want to let them sit in that pan. You want to let them get nice and crisp on the bottom before you turn them. You don't want to mix them up. So I'm going to tell you, show you what that looks like here shortly. Well, we're back. They've been cooking for about four or five minutes now. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to take them and I'm going to turn them. I don't know why my flash is on. One second. Let me turn that off. There we go. A little bit better color to them that way. And I'm going to just take these and I try not to mix them. I'm going to take them and I'm just going to turn them. And, oh, uh, maybe I'll let them cook just a touch too long, but not really. Now that, this, I mean, sweet potatoes, um, unlike regular potatoes, have a little more sugar in them. So they do look burnt on, oh, not really. Um, that's actually the sugar and the caramelized onions and stuff. So it's a little darker, but trust me, it doesn't taste burnt. They, they just taste good. So I'm going to let them cook on this side for a while. And crisp up a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to enjoy uh, breakfast. I'll come back when they're done. All right. Well, uh, they actually have. Uh, they're done. And I'm just going to zoom in on them so you can see just how beautiful they are. You can see the bacon there, nice and crisp. Um, the, the potatoes all nice and and. Uh, and good and then the onions all caramelized um, if you've never tried fried sweet potatoes with bacon and onion uh, and you've never tried them with your breakfast rather than just regular potatoes um, give it a try and I you'll you will be pleasantly surprised and this is an unhealthy dish but sweet potatoes are slightly healthier than regular potatoes and I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you actually try this out for yourself have a good day